There are unlimited ways to build stone walls with Lego elements, and today we're going to look at two techniques I used in my wax and wick model. These both incorporate a lot of sideways building, and especially brackets, to give a lot of nice subtle textures to your stonework. So for the first wall, we'll start off with a 1x1 up bracket, and off of that we can build this assembly that'll wrap around it and make a nice first brick layer. Then we use a normally stacked brick on top of that up bracket, and then we can add another 1x1 one one down bracket this time. And it's the same sort of block pattern, and it goes the opposite way, so you have alternating design at the corner. And this basic pattern will be repeated all the way up to the top at both ends of our example section of wall. Now in the middle, we're going to mix things up and be a little more random with our textures. That means we'll utilize some brick with stud on side to attach a plate and tile, which gives just a half plate depth recess compared to the standard studs up wall. We'll use some brackets on their side. And the cool thing about brackets is you, when they're on their side, you can use them to fill in some offsets that otherwise would be difficult to achieve. So as you can see, I'm trying to make some nice texture here and not have too many straight lines going in the, the same direction for a long time, kind of break it up with different sizes, different textures, mixing in the ingots as an element to give even more detail. And ultimately this is something that just takes a little bit of practice and a little willingness to try and use trial and error and see what you end up liking. You can even mix in some normal studs up sections because those will stand out amidst the mainly sideways tiles of the rest of the wall. So by mixing the sideways plate and tile built on the brick stud, sideways plate and tile built onto brackets, or sideways tile just built directly onto the brackets, you get several different depths that give a really nice texture to the wall and simulate a lot of natural stone roughness that is normally quite difficult to achieve. This design is quite similar in many ways as the core is still using the 1x1 one one up and down brackets. You start by making a simple cross shape with a 2x4 plate and 2x4 brick, and then under the ends of the 2x4 brick you place the 1x1 one one brackets facing off in the direction of the 2x4 plate. Now because the brackets are a half plate depth, if we add another 1x1 one one plate, this time in light blade, and then cap that with a tile and dark blade, that brings it out flush with the corner of the 4x4 space. And then when we add down brackets over top here, going in the opposite direction, it makes this super neat pattern of one by one tiles at the corners. And this is something I had done before um, in my Predator Castle model, but back then I didn't have the one by one brackets, and so the buildup was way, way more complicated inside and needed a lot more space. Well, this is super clean and tidy, and yeah, looks great. And once again, it's a pattern that's easy to repeat up for as far as you need, or modify and adjust the size if you would like. We hope you found these techniques useful, and if there's other designs you would like us to do breakdowns of, let us know. And if you would like to incorporate angles in your stonework, we have you covered with this neat tutorial.